Hey guys, APL here. APL Fisher on Xbox Live. Well, actually, no longer. I don't even know if I can log into my Xbox Live account. I haven't touched that thing in so many years. God bless it, though. I do miss it sometimes. Guys, you're watching one of the first uploads on my channel. Well, at least one, the first call of this is the first Call of Duty upload. It's still on there. It is technically this is a repost, but I, I hope that you'll you'll forgive me because this is a repost that uh, well I was gonna say is aged probably hasn't aged well, but this is this gameplay you're watching is from eight years ago, 2009. Akimbo Magnums on subbase or something. I don't I don't know exactly what I called it. Akimbo, I'm sorry, Akimbo Magnum Fun on subbase. No commentary on this thing. And I thought, you know what? This was my first Call of Duty upload. This was before I even started doing commentaries. Why not take that and actually do a commentary over it? For old time's sake, I don't know why. I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic. I have to say, I was I was had a good conversation with Brad, aka Hutchison15. A lot of you will know him from my stream, a mod, and a really good friend. Somebody that's helped me out a lot. And he was like, man, you know, I was thinking about your YouTube, and you should do... You should do an old school commentary or just a commentary at some point again. I used to really enjoy those. And after I sent him the $50 for the compliment because I pay Brad to make me feel good about myself, I said, you know, I really should do that right now. Because um, I can talk about stuff. You know, back in the day, these commentaries, I mean, eight years ago, it was just the whole commentary fad was just starting to take off. Modern Warfare 2 was blowing up. Call of Duty was, was becoming the household name that it is today. But man, it was so different. It was so different back then. YouTube looked so different. Basically, if you had a HD PVR, you were ahead of the crowd. I had one of those. Um, if you could get if you could get Hutch to notice you, you were ahead of the crowd. Hutch noticed one of my first Call of Duty videos I ever did. Uh, this one right here. And I don't know, man. I yeah, I just I'm I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic, and I'm I'm already rambling like I used to. So I'm right back. <laughs> I'm right back where I where I used to where I used to be, making no sense. But. No, I wanted to do this commentary because I had a couple different things on my mind. And one of them is uh, how different my life is from when it when this video uh, was recorded, this gameplay was recorded eight years ago. I mean, I've moved a ton of times. I was in California for four plus years. I've had different jobs. You know, when I recorded this, I was working at a software company in Pennsylvania. Had, had a good, really good job. Had recently been promoted. You know, was was wasn't really thinking necessarily about making this a career. I mean, I, I would have, you know, it was definitely a dream of mine to work in the gaming industry, so to speak, but I was pretty content with where I was. And man, this, this, this gameplay, if, if I'm, if I'm not to, not to put too much uh, weight on it, but this first kind of COD gameplay is what catapulted me into really diving into YouTube, um, as a hobby and then eventually getting offered a job at Machinima and then eventually moving from uh, my job at Machinima Live, <laughs> Machinima Live back in the day. Shout out to Fwiz, the Fwister, of course, Dunkus, my boy Zach Mazada. Oh man, anyway, some of these names you will know, some of them you will not. But anyway, and then moving and then getting the opportunity to uh, produce and host on Respawn, uh, to then uh, working at Machinima for two and a half, three years, then getting laid off, and then basically freelancing and almost basically being broke for a year, and then starting Twitch up, and having that become basically my full-time uh, career, which is obviously I'm a Twitch streamer now. I probably identify more as a streamer than a YouTuber anymore. But YouTube is where I got my start. And it's really trippy to go back and watch this. <laughs> watch this gameplay. It definitely, um, I don't know. It's, it's evoking a lot of different emotions. But I didn't, hear to, I didn't come here to talk about my, by my about, mm. see I can't even speak. I didn't come here to talk about my emotions. And I realize there's probably a lot of people that watch this channel that have really no idea, like maybe come over from Twitch, just watch the uh, the stream snacks or the other odd videos that I put on here, and had no idea I, I had such an illustrious YouTube career. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic, but yeah, I really, I really got my start with YouTube as a hobby, and I, um, I'm really lucky to be where I am now. You know, looking back uh, eight years ago, I never would have imagined I'd be you know, streaming, uh, getting out, playing video games, and, and hanging with my very Mimi chat every single day. And I'm super lucky to be able to do it. But that kind of leads me to my next point. I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Twitter and 
people's blogs and stuff. And and this is this may not interest you if you're not somebody that's trying to stream or has ever streamed, tried to make it your career. But I think it probably won't interest you because you're even if you're just a viewer, and you use streams as a way to relax and just engage with the gaming community. Um, there's a you know the whole ecosystem on Twitch and YouTube, and especially YouTube with all the ad stuff going on right now, um, and on Twitch with the saturation. You know, Twitch has changed a tremendous amount just in the last year alone, not to mention two or three years. And when I first started on Twitch, um, I came around. To, I came at a good time. Uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive was really just starting to take off. Um, you know, and I, as somebody that played Counter Strike for years, that was my main game, and I played that a bunch and. You know, my my Twitch channel, like, saved me financially. I, I just started doing it uh, on the side as I was doing other kind of freelance hustles when I got laid off from Machinima, and the support just kept growing and growing and to the point that I had enough uh, had enough subs to pay my rent. I was getting enough donations to, to, to pay for food. I was slowly inching my way out of debt, and I was like, wow, this is... I can't believe this is... This is actually working. People... People enjoy uh, watching me stream video games, and that, that's an amazing feeling, but it's a feeling that can definitely be a double-edged sword when you start to, let's say, maybe not have as many viewers as you used to, or, I don't know, uh, your subs go uh, down to a level that you didn't expect, or, you know, you're doing the same stuff, but it's just not, doesn't seem to be working anymore, people aren't as interested, and... You know, that's something that everybody struggles with. If you're somebody that is in uh, the Twitch ecosystem or you do YouTube and stuff, numbers are always something that are in the back of your mind, sometimes at the forefront, depending on how you approach it. And it can be very stressful. It can be very stressful. However, this is what I will say. And I don't know. You can agree with me or not agree with me. I'd be interested in the comments. See, I, I still remember how to do this. Guys, go ahead and leave a comment. Also, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Notification squad. I'm learning a lot of things from Derv and some other of these new school YouTubers. Um... I'll put a little bell chime here for the notification. Make sure you turn notifications on to catch all of my uh, sick commentaries. But when that stuff starts to change or uh, the land ship, land, land ship, the landscape starts to shift, um, I've been noticing people people really start to freak out. And they start going, they, they, start, they start not taking care of themselves. They start not taking days off. When it comes to um, Twitch or, or YouTube or whatever it is, they start writing these long blog posts about how, like, is it even worth it anymore? Do I have what it takes? They start questioning themselves, and that's like that's part of that's the nature of this this gig, right? It's a very personal thing to be paid to, you know, essentially play video games or be an entertainer. Not necessarily play video games, but just be an entertainer and have people basically kind of co-sign you by saying, hey, I'm willing to give you, you know, five bucks a month or, or donate to you because I, I enjoy your content and I want to support you. And when that starts to change, it gets tough. But I, I'm definitely somebody who, who has been affected by that. I, the Twitch ecosystem is very different. It's, it's, it's very much, if you're at the top, you continue to get bigger and it's hard to get noticed. You have to network. You have to get a break. You have to be able to find an audience. I, I have to say this. I don't envy anybody who's starting out right now, whether it's Twitch or YouTube or anything else. Especially if you don't have any connections. I would almost say that if you're going to start, I, I would almost I would almost discourage you from even starting if you're if your end goal is just be like, well, I want to do this as a living. Not that I wouldn't have discouraged you in the past, but I would have said it, it would have been a lot easier if you had some some talent and got some breaks back in the day. But even with talent and breaks and everything else, there are tons of people that fall through the cracks. And finally, after eight minutes and fifty two seconds of incoherent rambling, I'm gonna come to my point. <laughs> God damn it, I thought this 10 minute and 5 second video would be long enough to get out what I wanted to say. Clearly, I'm just as bad at this as I was uh, 8 years ago. But, what I really want to stress, for, for if you're somebody who's just starting out, or you're somebody that's been doing this for a while, and you're a streamer, and you're making your living doing it, or anybody in between, or even if you're a viewer, um, maybe you'll hear this and you can agree or disagree, but no matter how talented you are, no matter how high you've been as far as like people loving your content or whatever, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever, okay? I'm in an incredibly fortunate position where I have a community that's extremely tight-knit that really enjoys each other's company and hangs around, um, but I don't take that for granted at all, okay? And I am only here because I got breaks, okay? Machinima was a huge break for me. Um, and no matter how talented you are, you need to have breaks, okay? So, I don't even, I, I basically run out of time. 
We'll have to do a part two. I'm the worst at this. Guys, uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. 1963 in a field, White Plains, Ohio. I gave natural live birth to two MVP stars. Two MVP stars. That's my boy. That is my son.